So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Notepad++ and Python together to create Python programs. So the first thing you want to do is open up the browser of your of your choice and go to this link. Um, this one is the link to get Python. So go downloads and then Python 3.5.2. Now, once you've downloaded Python, you want to go to the Notepad++ website, which is this one. By the way, I'll leave all the links in the description. Now, what this is, is you can think of this as Notepad, but for developers. So it has pretty much all the tools to create code, and it makes it a lot easier with like autofill and stuff. So when you're on this page, you want to go download, then download this. Now, I've already got them downloaded over here. So let's go ahead and install Python first. Now, before clicking install now, you want to check this and the reason we are doing this is because if you ever want to run programs using the command window then we can easily do so so now we can click install now and we'll just wait till this finishes okay so as you can see my setup was successful now just to make sure let's go open up the command prompt so to do this you can simply do uh, you can simply press your windows key and r and then just type in cmd and you just want to type python so if it's working, you should get Python 3.5.2 and this three greater than signs are basically the Python editor. Now you can write code in here, but it's you would only write code here to test it. But anyway, we just wanted to see if Python was installed, so we can just control Z and enter. So now we need to know where Python is installed for the next step. So we can simply type in where and Python and it should give me the location of where um, Python is installed in my PC. So now that we have that, um, don't close it. You can just leave it there because we'll be using this later on. Yeah, we can go ahead and install Notepad++. So next, agree, next, and next. I'm going to go ahead and create a shortcut and let's let that run. So now that we've completed that, we can simply click finish. Now, to make sure that Python can be run in here that is to make programs in here we need a plugin so we can simply just close that up we can go plugins and plugin manager and show plugin manager now in here you just want to click anything and go in so scroll down until you see notepad plus plus exec so that's npp exec you want to click install and now we just wait for this so this comes up you just want to say yes yes and we should have npp exec here so you want to first go go into this place and then go execute now we go back to our command prompt we can copy this and paste it in here and then type in double quotes percent uh, sorry dollar sign and then open parentheses and file name click enter and then close the double quotes so now that we have that we can save it or run Python, save, and then OK. So you should see this, and that's totally fine. But we know it's working because we got this stuff in green. Whoops. I'll just put that back. OK. So ideally, when we are programming in Notepad++, we don't want to see any of these. We can just simply print our output. So to do that, you go plugins, npp, exec, disable that, check that. Tick and tick. And now once you've done that, you go advanced options. Now this is just to make it easier for us to run our Python program. We can tick this, go here, click on this, run Python and add it. These don't need to change, so you can just leave that there. Go OK and we'll restart Notepad++. Now let's just go ahead and do a quick hello world. So in Python, you type in print and then open parentheses quotes hello world now to make sure to run this we have to first save it so i'm going to go save it in the desktop i can just give it a name saying hello oh, actually this program and then you want to save it as a .py which indicates that it's a python file now notepad++ knows it's a python file as you can see down here now we can simply go run and whoops we can go macro and then run python and we should get this so 
that works and that's good but one quick thing to make it a lot easier when programming is to assign a shortcut key now we can do that by going settings shortcut mapper plug in commands and then scroll down until we see our uh, our title we gave it to uh, to run our python script so we can just double click and I'm going to assign a shortcut key of F9. OK, close. Now we can close this back. Now save it if it isn't and go hit F9. And we should see our program. So before I finish, I'm going to show you how you can run this using the command prompt. So open up the command prompt and navigate to where you saved your Python file. So in this case, I did it in my desktop. So I can just do properties and then just copy this place. Now I'm going to do cd and then that. So now I am in the directory of where this Python file is. All I do to run it is just do python and the, the name of the Python file. So in this case, it's uh, firstprogram.py. I'm going to copy that, paste it in here and run it. And as you can see here, it says hello world. So that's exactly why we tick that little checkbox in the Python setup so we can run our programs in here if you ever need to know. That does it for this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at some of the basics in Python.